Weather and Climate End of Marking Period Assessment Student Information First, type your last name in the box here. Next, type your first name in the box here. Now you will select your cycle number. Diagrams. Look at the diagrams to help answer the questions. Number one, which layer of our atmosphere is pictured at number three? So right here in the middle, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, or the stratosphere? Number two, which layer of our atmosphere is pictured at number one, which is the layer closest to Earth, right here? The mesosphere, the stratosphere, or the troposphere? Number three, what type of local wind breeze is shown in the diagram below? The sun is out. Land breeze or a sea breeze? The atmosphere around you. Number four, the envelope of gases surrounding the earth or another planet. Air pressure, atmosphere, or wind. Number five, the most abundant gas in our atmosphere, making up 78%, is oxygen, nitrogen, or carbon dioxide. Water in the atmosphere, number six. The cycle by which water moves from Earth's surface to the atmosphere and back again is called precipitation, the water cycle, or transpiration. Number seven, the process in which water vapor gas is cooled and changed into liquid water, clouds, is evaporation, condensation, or transpiration. Number eight, any form of water that falls from clouds and reaches Earth's surface, rain, snow, sleet, or hail, is known as evaporation, condensation, or precipitation. Air masses. Number nine. What two characteristics are used to describe air masses? Temperature and humidity, temperature and wind, or humidity and precipitation? Number ten. Continental air masses form over land or water? Look back at the diagram on number nine to help you answer that question. Number 11, maritime air masses form over water or land. Again, use the diagram in number nine to help you answer that question. Number 12, polar air masses are Hot or cold? Number 13, tropical air masses are hot or cold? Number 14, in the image below, what is the name of the air mass represented by the letter D? D is right here over land. Is that maritime polar, continental polar, or continental tropical? Number 15. In the image below, what is the name of the air mass represented by letter C? C is over here, over water. Is it maritime tropical, continental polar, or continental tropical? 
Number 16. What is the boundary called where two air masses meet? Front, altitude, or clouds? Predicting weather changes. Number 17. Scientists who study weather and try to predict it are called astronomers, climatologists, or meteorologists. Number 18. Air always moves from areas of low to high pressure, high to low pressure, or air does not move. Number 19. Wind speed is measured by a barometer, anemometer, or hygrometer. Number 20. Identify the type of front represented by this symbol. Cold, warm, or stationary. Severe weather and floods. Number 21. An extremely fast spinning funnel of air extending from a thunderstorm to Earth's surface is flooding, thunderhead, or tornado. 22. When this part of a hurricane arrives, the weather grows calm and clear. Heat, mouth, or eye. Energy in Earth's atmosphere. 23. The greenhouse effect is the process by which gases hold heat in the atmosphere, the reflection of solar energy in the atmosphere, or the absorption of energy by clouds. 24. The diagram below shows cold air molecules. Cold air has what kind of air pressure? High, low, or none? Patterns of circulation in the atmosphere. 25. Earth's rotation makes global winds curve. This is called the convection effect, Coriolis effect, or global effect.